Hello everyone, this is Rahul from way to automation So in this lecture, we'll be talking about uh, Cucumber latest version with uh, uh, like latest uh, Cucumber interactive reports. So some of the reports which are very popular in the industry like extent report and there's one report that you may have uh, seen in our previous lectures that we have generated with Jenkins. So this is uh, one of the Cucumber report that uh, is another interactive report where you can see multiple features over here and then you can see tags the scenario outlines all the steps and hooks uh, divided into different sections right so here there are different tabs available where you can look at uh, the tags that you have included in your project different steps all the failures so uh, now we have seen this report uh, with the help of a plugin uh, that we have embedded in our Jenkins. Uh, we have installed in our Jenkins for Cucumber interactive report, but now we're gonna see that we can generate it uh, with the help of uh, some plugin available through our uh, Maven pom.xml file as well. So in this, in the current lecture, we are going to generate our latest extent report and this Cucumber JVM report with the help of uh, some plugins available. So I'll very quickly take to uh, take you to the project that uh, we were using uh, in our basic Cucumber lecture. So this is a, a very simple, a very basic project. Be it you are working on uh, Cucumber with uh, Selenium, Cucumber with Appium, Cucumber with uh, REST Assured for API testing, you can do the same integration in all, all these projects easily in the, in the same way, right? So for that, uh, first of all, I'll take you to uh, uh, like the pom.xml file over here. So in this pom.xml, there are a couple of things that you need to add. You need some plugins related to uh, the Maven compiler plugin and the Maven Surefire plugin. So this is actually required to run your uh, uh, test case, basically the, the runner file, uh, the QG file where you uh, add Cucumber options, right? So this is uh, what is required. Uh, why this plugin is required and then this is the latest uh, cucumber jvm reports plugin you can search this uh, in the maven repository itself and try using the latest one just uh, search for maven cucumber reporting you'll get it in uh, mvn repository so this is what uh, the maven cucumber plugins and here you can see the latest one that I'm using as of today is 5.0. And uh, this is the dependency that you would be needing. So you can read more about their project in their GitHub repository as well. They have uh, a GitHub repository. If you search for Maven Cucumber reporting GitHub repository, you're going to navigate to their GitHub uh, account as well. So this is... This is where you should be able to uh, read about the project. There, there, are, there are many uh, repositories available and see uh, these are, uh, this is what the plugin that I have actually taken from here, right? And I've included same plugin in my project with the latest version itself. So there are uh, some phases like uh, uh, some Maven phases, uh, verify and uh, a goal generate to generate these reports. So over here, you can specify your project name, then the output directory. Generally, we keep it in the target folder of Maven itself. So in the target folder, there'll be a folder generated Cucumber reports and that you're gonna have uh, uh, another folder advanced reports and that you're gonna see that report. So this will be the output directory of your report. And this Cucumber JSON file is very important because the report will be taking the data from the JSON file itself. Right, and then there are uh, some plugins which you can keep it as it is, uh, no need to change. These are basically your reporting directory itself. And if you uh, go down, then uh, there are some dependencies that you need to include, like uh, JUnit dependency, uh, the Cucumber uh, latest uh, 4.8 version, which is the most stable version as of now. And then uh, I'm taking it from IO Cucumber itself. Don't take it from uh, uh, Cucumber, like Cuke Info. Don't take it from there. So 
all the latest ones should be from io.cucumber. Right, so you can include Cucumber J unit or you can use Cucumber test ng as well, right? So this is up till here you need it for the Cucumber JVM reporting. So we are including two reports in it. One is the Cucumber JVM report and the other one is the extent reports. So that uh, will be generating it with the help of uh, another plugin uh, that we need some, uh, this is the extent report for plugin. Basically this is a dependency. Uh, that you need to add. So this is extent cucumber for adopter. This again, I have uh, taken it from uh, the Maven repository. The latest one as of today is 1.0.12, right? So this is the plugin provided by extent reports itself. And uh, I'm excluding the dependencies that uh, comes along with this plugin because I've already included these dependencies over here. So that's it. That is what all you need in your pom.xml file, right? So this is very important. This, uh, these plugins and these dependencies are very important for this project to generate uh, uh, these reporting part, right? If I talk about specifically about the JVM reporting, then for JVM reporting, you just need this plugin. That's it. Only this plugin is required. But for extent reports, you will need some additional files that you need to keep it in your resources. So these are the two additional files. One is the extent config file, which will gonna uh, generate the layout of your report. Like you can give the title of the report, the report name, where should be the chart location. There are a number of other properties, but these are the by default properties which are required. So a uh, theme should be a standard, uh, like a white theme or a dark, uh, a black theme, right? You can do these changes over here, right? And then you would be needing this extend.properties file to uh, start this extent reporter to tell where the config file is and to provide the output where the HTML file should be generated. So here you can change the HTML file name based on the name you want to give. And this is the, I'm actually generating it inside target folder itself. Target folder itself. So uh, like the previous, uh, like we have seen a JVM report as well. I'm generating inside the same target folder and same thing for the extent report as well. I'm generating inside same target Cucumber reports, advanced extent reports. And here the report should be generated, right? So basically when you execute the stuff through Maven, everything gets generated inside this target folder. So you're gonna find them over here. Inside Cucumber reports, you'll see advanced report, Cucumber, Cucumber HTML and Cucumber uh, extent reports. So these are the JVM and these are the extent reports, right? So uh, for the time being, what I'm gonna do, I'll just uh, clean this project. I'll do Maven clean, uh, sorry, run as Maven clean so that uh, everything that is inside that target folder is now gone. Right, so everything is deleted. We'll be uh, generating new set of reports itself, right? And then uh, another important thing is your test runner, right? If in case you're running with J unit, then uh, you need to add this annotation. Otherwise, you need to extend that uh, test ng abstract class so to uh, run it through test ng. That is the only change you needed for J unit or test ng runner. Otherwise, Cucumber options will remain the same. You need to tell where your feature files are. You need to tell where your step definition, this is a package, the glue code, where you have kept your glue code, that is, that are the step definitions. So if you look over here, SRC, test, resources, features, I've kept all my features over here. So there are two feature files at the moment. And then glue is your steps. So where you have kept uh, the step definition. So I have multiple step definitions over here, right? And then uh, the plugin. So plugin where you would be generating a simple HTML report, right? The by default report that comes uh, with Cucumber, right? Even if you don't generate it through, run it through Maven, it will still be generated. Then where you'll be generating these JSON. So inside the Cucumber folder, I'm generating Cucumber JSON file. I'm generating uh, a Cucumber XML, uh, the results in the form of XML as well. And then this is the plugin that you need for extent reports. 
So you don't need it for JVM uh, report because we have added everything inside uh, the pom.xml file. For extent report only, you need to add this plugin over here. Right, so this is important that you need to add this plugin. So once you add this plugin, once you have this pom.xml file ready, that's it. You need not to do anything else. Just start writing your features, creating your features, writing your step definition, and that's it. So I'm going to show you uh, the simple features which we have already seen in our uh, previous project. So this is a tag, uh, a sanity tag over here. And the feature is a login feature. Basically, uh, like, although it's not navigating, so these are the some, some of the steps that I have done system out println, right? But you can integrate Selenium test, Appium test, REST API test, so along with uh, this Cucumber. So uh, these are some of the scenarios, uh, some steps that I've written. This is the first feature file. This is the second feature file with multiple scenarios over here, a background, right? And then this is the step definition. So where we have some hooks, some tagged hooks, right? Then given, when, then, so all the steps uh, written in features are mapped with the step definition, right? If you see over here, so you can see everything, uh, there are no errors over here, all these uh, things are actually mapped. If, if they're not mapped, then you may gonna see some prompt over here uh, mentioning that uh, this particular step is not mapped with the step definition. So this is the second step definition. Uh, that includes one step only, right? So this is all about this project and how are we gonna run it? We'll be running it through Maven in order to generate the reports. So we'll be, uh, there are many phases of Maven. So the phase that we're gonna use is install. So I'm gonna uh, say run as Maven build. So first we're gonna run clean and then we're gonna run install. So let's run it and let's see the output. See, four test, no failure, and build success. About to generate Cucumber reports. And you can see, so this JSON contains two features. And now if you refresh your project, you're gonna see in target folder, we have Cucumber HTML report. So go to index.html and open this. And you're going to see this is a plain report that comes uh, by default with Cucumber, right? So many of you uh, are already familiar with this report. And now if I uh, go back to Eclipse and see this is Cucumber report folder that is generated. And inside it, you'll see Cucumber JSON and XML file. If you open this uh, XML, you can see these are uh, the JUnit tests that are passed. For JSON, you'll again see a JSON file with past status for every test, scenario, scenario outline, right? So reports generally take this data. So you need to, this is mandatory to generate these JSON files for the reporting part. Now this is the Cucumber HTML, the JVM report, the latest one. So we need to open this uh, overview features.html file. So if I open this, this will gonna show you the detailed report. The report that uh, you may have seen with Jenkins plugin. So all the hooks, the steps, right? For all the features, different features, everything is, so total two features were there. These are the tags, these are the steps. Right, you can go to individual features. And now if we go back to another folder, extent report, this is extent.html, and these are the two features. So one is the login one, one is the login to production, right? So this contains data tables, scenario outline, and this is the whole total results, so what all tags were there, four scenarios were there, 24 steps were there, two features were there. So this is how, with the help of these plugins, you should be able to generate these reports easily, right? 
So that's all in this lecture. I hope you have enjoyed this lecture. All right. So I'll be sharing you uh, the code. So just try configuring this project. I'll share you this project and uh, try implementing uh, the latest uh, Cucumber Interactive Reports. All right. Thank you.